For children's book authors who are working with illustrators, I recommend to go and buy Tad Crawford's book, uh, Legal Contracts for Il Legal Agreements for Illustrators, I think it's called. In Tad Crawford books, there's a form contract for illustrator, collaborator with a children's book. And um, it's a great start. It's like one or two pages. It's on, they used to sell it with a CD ROM. I don't know people know what that is anymore. It's a little plastic with a hole in it. You, and never mind. Um, but this, uh, uh, so you have a contract, it's a collaboration agreement. Also, the Writers Guild of America has a collaboration agreement, a writer's collaboration agreement. It's contemplated to be for screenwriters. But all the issues that are there for any collaboration are uh, in the agreement, and, and it prompts the people to work together. An agreement, a, a contract is just an agreement between people, and with collaborators and a children's book, you know, the usual issues comes up, who's going to own the illustrations, when are they due, how many illustrations, uh, how much. Uh, often we see the illustrators are working uh, for the book author. The book author is motivated, has this story, and wants the illustration. So the illustrator can um, negotiate and if they're uh, in a good position they really have talent um, you know, they can do a per illustration fee and they can limit the rights to print only and if they want to do it online or animated or something that's a whole other thing and they get first right of first refusal on sequels so a lot of good stuff for the um, and then merchandise we did a uh, I have a children's book author a uh, terrible book but an incredible illustrator and she got all the rights to the illustrations and she did limited editions. Then limited edition uh, selling these illustrations. They're beautiful. The guy was a Disney illustrator, and um, uh, so w she couldn't sell the books, but she had these um, wonderful full color proofs that people could hang on the wall. Of these beautiful, beautiful illustrations. So it's you know merchandising. I guess you could put them on coffee mugs and T-shirts and merchandise that way too.